Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Look at this really boring background. I have not really unpacked my new place at all. I've been real busy. I'm looking naked, but I'm not. Today I'm doing my June favorites video for you all and I'm pretty excited because it's weird to me because June doesn't feel like it's happened. I feel like I was just tweeting that picture of Justin Timberlake where it's like, it's gonna be May. First, let's talk about shoes. Mmm, so exciting. I've been wearing these shoes a lot. These are just my Nike free 5.0 running shoes. You know what I've been using them for? Everyday life. You know what I haven't been using them for? Running. Working out is gonna be a favorite. Some month. My next favorite is a home decor favorite, which I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more of these now because I have a house now and I need to buy like furniture to fill up said house. And I recently got these coasters. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. They're from West Elm. If you know anything about me, you know I'm all about crystals and geos and I've collected them since I was a little kid. And I really like these coasters. I think they're very pretty. My next favorite is for my hair. This is the Candy Dry Oil Micro Mist from Alterna. And this is basically like a spray oil that I'm using on my hair. I'm really into it. it my hair is like really fried and really dead right now because I am currently in the midst of shooting season two of Makeup Mishaps, which I'm so excited about. If you don't know what Makeup Mishaps is, where have you been? It is a web series that I star in on I Love Makeup's YouTube channel and we're on season two and we've been shooting literally like every single day for the last month, <laughs> which is why I don't have that many favorites because I really haven't done anything to my face. I usually just show up to set in sweatpants, running shoes, and like a sports bra and a big oversized t-shirt. But I've been liking this a lot on the days that I need some extra teal in my heart. Did I even explain it? It's like a oily, oh yeah. I like it. This is NUX lip product, which I have on my lips right now. And this is Reb de Miel NUX, NUX lip balm. Essie Button gave this to me when we sent each other packages because we were like obsessed with our friendship. And I've been using it since she gave it to me forever ago, but I recently lost it whilst moving and I realized how much I liked it because I was like, where is it? Where is it? It's like a really thick lip balmy kind of thing you put on your lips. Oh my gosh, it's great, especially overnight. Like I said, I haven't been doing my own makeup for the last month, but on the days that I have been, I really have enjoyed these two products. First is the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream, and then the next one is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I really like these. This is a little too pink for my skin, and this is a little too like full coverage for me right now. Like no oil mattifying foundation. So you combine them, and it's like sweet little love all over your face. Also a favorite, I've been been applying my foundation with this small duo fiber brush from Sigma. This is from their fancy copper collection, but I really like this. I've been using a beauty blender for forever and a half, and then I was watching these YouTube videos, and these girls who looked really pretty were using brushes, and I was like, maybe I should use brushes again. To combat my under eye circles, because in conjunction with moving, you're gonna end up staying up way too late at night, because when you've lived in a place for a while, like you know, like the monsters hide in like that closet, so you don't go in that closet. But I don't know where the monsters live in my place, so I'm just like constantly living in fear. And I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is like an under eye concealer. Fingers crossed my mom's not watching this video because I actually gave this to my mom a while ago because I was like, oh, I don't like this. You can have it. And then I visited home and I tried it and I was like, oh, I like this. And I took it back and I didn't tell her. Shh. I have two favorite nail polishes. These are from Essie's Summer Collection, which I actually use this one in a get ready with me. Prepped a surfer, super pretty blue, and then a white shade because what else do I not love than a white nail polish, which is Private Weekend. And these are like the most opaque Essie polishes I've used in forever. And I love the whole Summer Collection, but these two, Fashion things, I'm loving this jumpsuit I just got from Lulu's, which is really cute. I've put you on autofocus to try and show you what my outfit looks like. Let's begin. Yay! I'm really into it. Isn't it cute? Oh, so not cute. Oh, so not cute. I also got this dress from Lulu's. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the off the shoulder trend. It's like this coral dress. I literally feel like the salsa dancer emoji in this. And then this other maxi dress, which I'm currently loving, is from Lulu's as well. Look at that. I love the super deep V of it, and it's like very cute. And it's just a long maxi dress. We like it, we like it. I'm addicted to online shopping, but I don't even care. Ow. Anyways, I'm obsessed with this little necklace. I actually bought this for myself and my best friend, Sydney, because she graduated college. So it's her graduation present, and I got this little friendship necklace. And they're really cute. They're little white gold diamond necklaces. Mine has an M, hers has an S. And I thought it was really fitting and really cute. And her sister's name is Jerry, so uh, I pretty much bribed Jerry that I was like, hey, if you graduate college, I'll buy you this necklace and a J. <laughs> Which is ironic because I didn't graduate college, but you know who doesn't like to hear you loudly talking about how you dropped out of college? <laughs> Parents who just paid hundreds of thousands of dollars on their kids' education. I'm gonna have links to everything mentioned in this video in the down bar, like I always do, but I also have links to each specific clothing piece I just showed because that's more helpful than just being like, go here, find it. Another favorite, uh, Teen Vogue. Not specifically Kendall Jenner and um, what's his name? Dude, what is his name? 
Nat Wolf. But uh, I'm really a huge fan of the Teen Vogue June and July issue. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Do you know why? I bet by now you've already guessed it. This would have been a lot more smooth if I had like pre-found this. Oh, he's cute. How tall is he? If you turn to page 49, ha ha ha. Whoa, who's who's that? Uh, Teen Vogue actually picked me to be on their Insta list for this year, and it's the new Instagram A list. I feel very fancy and very cool and I'm like, do you know that I'm not fancy nor cool? But thank you, Teen Vogue. And it says, Megan Rings, Bohemian Beauty with a fun, feminine sense of style. And if you want to check out me on Instagram, please go do it because I spend way too much time editing Instagram photos. I've really been into butterfly clips recently because I think that I'm Miranda from Lizzie McGuire. Food slash beverage favorite. Okay, I'm addicted to these. These are the sparkling ice beverages. Naturally flavored sparkling mountain spring water with vitamins and antioxidants. But yeah, this flavor is pink grapefruit, but I'm obsessed with these in general. And I bought mine like bulk on Amazon because I'm like so into them. But they're so incredibly good. And I usually hate carbonated the beverages, but they're like so lightly carbonated. I don't mind it. I don't have a favorite book of the month because I didn't read any books this month. I've been reading a 150 page script. My music favorite of the month. I have to give thanks to my close dear friend, Taylor Swift, who has no idea that I exist. For my music favorite of the month, it has been Kelsey Ballerini. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm obsessed with everything. Like, I'm just obsessed with her album. So good. But her song, Yeah Boy, has been my crack. Ready? Capture my attention, make my heart stop and listen when you look my way. I'm addicted to her song. It is so great. I just want to be in the Taylor Swift crew. Snapchat has been awesome. If you're not following me on Snapchat, I've recently posted something funny. I have two favorite apps of the month, and it's just going to prove how much of a foodie that I am. I've been really into the app Postmates, and if you don't know what Postmates is, you're missing out, unless it doesn't go to your area, and then you really are missing out, because I don't know how you would survive. Basically, Postmates brings you anything you want from any restaurant that you want, and you order it through your phone, you don't have to call anybody, but what's cool is some restaurants that don't do like delivery orders, or usually like takeout orders, you can order from there. So if you're like, oh my god, I'm really craving dairy-free frozen yogurt that's eight miles away, they will bring it to you and it will still be frozen. They're not paying, they, Postmates doesn't even know I exist, except they probably know I exist because I order like every single day. They're not paying me or anything like that. But there's a coupon code that I found through my app, so you can get like $10 off your first order, something like that and cool. And I'm gonna list it down for you guys because I've just been stealing all of my friends' codes so I can get money off of my orders. So I thought I would help spread the wealth for you all. Hmm. And the other app that I'm obsessed with is Instacart. And it basically is ordering groceries through your phone, but it's so cool. Then I can order groceries from Whole Foods to be delivered here, and I never have to leave my house. I'm a huge fan of it because Whole Foods in LA is like really trendy and really pretty, and like unless you like, want to see Ashton Kutcher, you like can't really go in your sweatpants, which is like how I usually like to grocery shop, so I grocery shop from my couch. Again, they have no idea exist. I just thought I would tell you because that's what I like. Favorite movie of the month, I'm going to think it was me, you're only dying girl. I think that's the only movie I actually even saw that month. But I do want to see Jurassic Park. <laughs> Favorite TV show, still Game of Thrones. I'm sorry guys, but it's so good. My last favorite of the month is the blog to Bleached Blondes, which is actually started from my friend Marissa and her friend Paige, who I'm also, Paige, I'm now just calling you my friend too because we met like one time and hung out for a weekend and I really like you and I don't have that many friends, so you're definitely on my list of friends. I'm like holding up my boob right now. <laughs> they started a blog together and I'm obsessed with it, not just because I'm friends with them and I think they're great people, but their blog is so good and both of their Instagram accounts are like poppin' and Paige's baby even has an Instagram account. I will have both of their Twitter and Instagrams linked down below as well as the link to their blog. So go check it out and follow them because they're the bestest and the greatest. And I just want their blog to like explode and become like the greatest, biggest thing ever. And then force them to move to LA and hang out with me every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. I am sorry for the all over the place ratchetness. Today is like the one day I have off for pretty much the next like month. And I'm feeling a little stressed out. So I'm talking very fast, trying to get it done because I have errands to run today. <laughs> If you want to check out any of my recent videos, I'm going to have those linked down below. So if you missed any of them, check them out. I love you guys. Oodles and oodles. And I will see you next time.